There we go. Welcome back to another episode of Gaming with Shala. I had a wonderful idea for an intro to this game. Okay. But he, but Shala said, "Don't." I'm putting blind trust in you not to mess this up, and I for completely forgot what I was going to say. Ooh. I am too easily distracted for my own good. That's because my game has it. Ooh. Now who is being easily distracted? That's the danger of having to, uh, uh, two easily distracted dudes on a YouTube channel. You're a straighter man than I am. Yeah, this is the, uh, the Rumble Fish 2, as the lady just helpfully announced. Yep. I, uh, classic staple of the arcades and today we're gonna figure out why characters can do. So there's like special attacks for offense and defense. It's like you gotta have a, a guard pause. You can only guard so much without So I assume versus mode the two player? Yep. Okay. And then you go. Use the red and blue controllers. I'm the pink and green. Yep. Final Fantasy Five. Did we really just do the opposite? Like a boss in Kingdom Hearts. 
I feel that more than one uh, uh, fighting games with uh, multiplayer uh, talk about. Marvel vs. Capcom, but I I have Kingdom Hearts on the brain for like no good reason other than for playing it on the one channel and a couple gamers. He he actually beat Kingdom Hearts two, two the other day. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm so proud of him that he got it done. He's saying that Kingdom Hearts 2 is the, 2 is the darkest one in the series. Mm -hmm. But how does the third one end? He uses the power of awakening a little too hard that he goes into a coma. Mm -hmm. Game over. Oh. Ew, that's what that does. Yeah, yeah. Didn't think it would kick us off, kick us back to the starting menu. So, does it let us choose our characters from? From a rematch? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Stick versus string. Like a one sword versus yo yo. doing so much damage. Oh, that m it might have something to do with that thing right there. Nothing. your offense bar? I think so. Not sure what that's supposed to do though. Uh, is this like a state specific thing or like what's with the no idea. circle? I know Arigato Kozaimasu means. But it literally translates to thank you very much. Hey look, he looks like Sun Wu Kong. Uh, let's, take the, uh, let's measure the depths of the ocean. Stab. <laughs> with that uh, big brush, I was sick of the. Uh, the artist boss boss from that uh from that one Kirby game. He's like a human who travels to Shiver Star. You know what Shiver Star is? Mm -hmm. Earth after an ice age. Nuclear winter turns into 
global ice age. I'm sure that would negatively affect the trap the trout population. I'm sure sea cucumbers would do well. <laughs> That's a Sun Wukong move if ever I've seen it. The this little kid's got hops. I sent out a, a power geyser. Power geyser! works. Mm -hmm. Would you what? like to expand upon that idea? So, Lilo and Stitch takes place in Hawaii. Nani, Nani was a surfer who would have gone to the Summer Olympics. But, be she had to step up and be her be a keep her sister's keeper mm -hmm. and and not only did they respect how the how the how Hawaii works in hula dancing which which is hard to get, which has trouble getting proper respect any, anymore, mm -hmm. or or it used to in in certain circles, and there's people who still disrespect the, the shit out of Hawaii, and. But apparently, everyone's saying Lilo had autism, or they believe that she had. Where was he storing that? In his hammer space. I love. I want a hammer space. The closest thing I've got is a jacket with internal pockets. Don't get me wrong. I love that jacket, but. Oh, that's what that does. Hero girl, uh, any article of clothing that, act, that has the actual usable pockets in hammer space. Do you know why? You know why the po pockets disappeared off in his clothing? So that uh, because so that they could sell women purses. Well. That, or potentially that, but women would go into business owners' establishments who were being being se sexist or racist, and the a bunch of women would go in, steal everything not nailed down, and run out. Yeah. Stealing like 
thousand dollars worth of things between like between all of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like if you if you did chose not to let the certain people into your business and certain people heard about it, but you you would basically be done done for because you would lose half your Yeah. Uh, I I heard there was like a the thing was like uh like, like, oh, there's a lady shopping, you have to let her shop away. That was one of those things. Alright, well, uh, before we were talking about, uh, pockets and, uh, talk about reload and stitch. Anyway, apparently Lilo having autism allowed, allowed her to understand why how Stitch's Stitch could be Stitch's strength and all that could be used for good. Because once an experiment it learns how to be good, they can never again do evil. And then Angel popped up and was like, Psych, nah. This guy needs to be in arms. Yeah. He's definitely one of those feet picks. Pull this off, I'm gonna be on easy street for us. <laughs> so, I, I'm just getting Balrog ball vibes off of him, and I love it. Uh, I don't Thinking about the uh, Lilo, uh, Lilo uh, autism thing. I, is that I don't think that she, they like rate her rating. They like wrote her as autistic, but they like that they made her like a as like a goofy girl. Or like a like weird girl, and then like because honestly, I think she was just like super traumatized and doing the best to what she could. If, uh, if they had written her as autistic in the time, it wouldn't have, uh, it would have gotten a, uh, a much different character. 
the other. One that was there. If they did Once actually there. intend to write an autistic character and that would be good on on Disney mm -hmm. and make them a lot more progressive than they are now. We are proud to announce the final season of the Disney's The Owl House. That's bullshit. You made them pack their crap and get out. I'm sorry you upped the gay factor in the season. You can get the ki a kiss in the, at the at the final seconds of the last episode, and that's the best we're gonna get. These aren't the same gender as people. And what gender would you define as beauty? House? Like. No, they... The gay witches are gonna turn the kids gay through the TV screen. Welcome to the bad girl, Kevin, boys and girls. What a... Count quote, what a... Witch cat do you think they're getting up to turn the friggin' frogs gay? I think these are all like different playing styles, but kickboxing, uh, Kenpo. I have a theory. Okay. This big guy Suma does sumo. Let's go to a sexy nurse. Is there a, a... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so, turtle style. Wait, look at the hat. There's a little critter under it. Oh, any time. It panics every time I I take a hit and celebrates every time I get a, get a hit in. It's time to start making it panic. This game has to have more than this one place. Do we have to unlock it playing story mode or something? Have you been uh, matching any when it comes to uh, after character select? I'm trying to figure out what each, what each button does. Um, 
maybe we exit and we won't see literally any other place but this one. Hmm. Um, I have an opinion on uh, autism characters and that they historically they tend to uh, they tend to be better when they're not acting like written when as well. autistic but rather yeah they just sort of the kind of sort of like a data from Sucker. If you wanted to split hairs the way the way they have it, mm -hmm. Q, the the character that's played by John Delancey, mm -hmm. he's technically autistic. He can. He needs to be reasoned with in a very specific way each time he's up to something. Mm -hmm. To the point where they call in a few select people to, cho to choose to do so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that, and he's just a character who is that character with traits of that specific thing.
you remember the, uh, the movie uh, Sia made called Music? Yeah. And I would classify that movie as being genuinely harmful. It's like, oh, if you're, uh, if you're autistic, well, you know, is having a stimulus overload, uh, just hold them down. Yeah, that's the worst thing you can do, though, in all seriousness. Like, you, honestly, padded rooms were meant for a therapy for adults. Just close yourself off from the outside world for like 15 to 20 minutes and re-enter society. Like, like a surgeon that just lost a patient or something. You give them time to f***ing grieve. famous adult cartoon with its talking dog. Oh. Shoot. Not bad. Oh. Thank you for your participation. Seen the uh, the dumb uh, way they worked uh, Scooby into the show. Yeah, Mindy Kaling does not understand how to human, let alone. In later seasons of The Office, they actually had to put Michael Scott in to in scenes with Mindy Kaling to make her even function as a proper character. And they had to feed her lines through an earwig. Are you an earwig? One that burned to her ear? It's... An earwig in this sense is a device that Oh, what allows people to feed people lines, mm -hmm. like an like an earphone that you can't talk into, only mm -hmm. just hear. Like the thing we're listening to, but they weren't as advanced, so they had to make it make one especially flesh colored. Mm -hmm. And the fact she wanted to change so much about Velma, you fill the room with books 
the mystery is in achievements of like some how about some how about how about put her weirdest achievements into that cabin like she won a high school science fair in elementary school she's she's in high school now for the camaraderie and as a bit of an educator like tutor for For, like, for, kids. for people who Yeah. And then that's how she meets Daphne. Your next uh, Your next project's gonna be a little bit more daunting and gr grueling. But if you can get her grades up, we can send you straight to college. Then have all the murders and shit go on. Like, you want to make it dark? Make it ridiculous. But it's fine to make it that ridiculous at that point. And don't hate on the show or the characters. a fight and it's just us doing the, the bend over backwards move at each other. I bet Mito wins this one. I'm gonna bet on Mito. Do you want this episode to be? Uh, uh. Just for the sake of tearing out, just tearing out the fourth wall for no reason. Mm. Hi, audience. <coughs> tell us how. Tell us what you think of the remaining time on this video. Assuming the hat's not supposed to do to do anything or something like that. Yeah. 
If you could, if you can throw the hat, that's that job. I'll meet you there. Jump into this uh, Winnipeg with this guy. Thank you for your participation. Winnipego. And it's like. And so, and I was a section of me riding in the Winnipego with the old guy playing my Switch. And it's like, I'm bored. He's like, maybe if you looked out the window, you wouldn't be so bored. So I, I looked out at the road, and we were going down the highway, and it was like this long abandoned highway that was like so abandoned that like the roads had turned back into like dirt roads, and then like the you know the side walls had. Ter had uh, all gone like overgrown and I uh so and I looked at the the mounds of dirt as they were you know coming and just thinking about boobs <laughs> and uh Third Vignette was actually did get to a uh, Spanish restaurant, but it was located out on this like out in like the middle of the ocean on this like super highway. And, and so showing up in the Winnebago is like I showed up in like a station wagon with my family members and I was like looking for you but I didn't see you and I was like like oh he's here and then found out that effectively the apparently the only item on the menu was uh, stuffed bell peppers it's, I imagine uh a lot of people like that, but I don't. I don't really do the vegetable thing. And then the fourth and final vignette was a. Uh, I was at a like kids putting on a play. 
a musical or whatever. And it's like a sort of like a imagine like a kind of yep. peanut shaped lounge sort of. And then a stage. And I looked kind of like peeked behind the curtain and there was like a kid like dressed up as a judge in like a yeah, a judge's seat and it's funny because in the dream I knew what play was they were going to put on uh, but the and it's this kind of uh, sitting around and like you know talking to some other people which is the most uh, obvious sign of a dream because I don't talk to that many strangers in real life yep and then uh, there's one kid who was like in this little like circular kind of thing where he's like kind of waist high and the like tops of the of the thing was kind of colored like a piano and he was like to like at the start of the thing he like hit it like as if he was playing a piano <laughs> nice was the, was the music any good I don't remember I, I think it was just like after that I woke up. How did I end up with your controller? You grabbed it off of here. you feel like sharing? There was one where movie stars had each movie star had a set of Pokemon uh-huh. instead of security. So so you would walk around hearing about the who had what type of like Johnny Depp had five magic carp, a hundred a hundred candy and an experience share in case he caught another one. Mm-hmm. So he fed so so he had, so he had the one. He had one one issue with a bunch of people mm-hmm. who kept crowding him. Yeah. He he sent his ma- He got his magic card to eat uh eat the twenty rare candy. Five Gyarados just flying him off. I should have blocked. GG.
Nah. -uh. Take you down, old man. Old oh, man. Ah. Yeah, this seems to be your main. That monkey artist guy was kind of fun. Wow. He's got a rage mode. GG. I'm gonna grab some ginger off my room right quick. I'll put. I'll go back into the home while I vamp, and you grab what you need to. Let us be enjoy making content, but nothing in life is free. Well, not a whole lot in life is free. Feel free to watch, share, subscribe, and we can probably set up a Fiverr or a Patreon or something in order to keep the lights on and keep things moving. Let us know what you want to watch next in the comments down below. Thank you for supporting us. At And a huge shout out to the love of my life, my amazing fiance, Rex Dubois. We might throw his channel and outlets in the this, either in the description as mystery links or pin, the pinned comments, assuming he's not already commented on this video. If so, hello love, I love you so much. Thank you for everything, babe. Mm. Anyway, when I, when you take all the time you need, what do you think of the Rumblefish Two thus far? It's it's a it's a worth it's a the worth the hype it's a. Uh, hype. It's gained the hype it's got. Yep. What has been your favorite game of this year? Uh, that you've played? As of April, it is Breath of the Wild and Scott Pilgrim vs. the World because mm. we've pl playing that to, as a group made it the easiest shit ever yeah. like I took on three of the evil exes and just could not get any farther yeah. by myself as average Joe yeah. I think for the ones that we've played, I think uh, we really enjoyed uh, Synaptic Drive. Yeah, that was a good game. Ooh. Can you tell what movie this is? One of your favorites. They're basing the sequel off the book. Our 
feeling it. I'm either going to kick myself or a movie that I've ever that I've not actually seen this movie. You've seen this movie for sure. We've talked about it quite a few times. We talk about a lot of nonsense. This category is movies. You've watched it with your mom recently. Is this practical magic? Ding, ding, ding. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. it with my mom it was like I think it was around Halloween why did I think it was recent then I mean that's more recent than the Big Bang valid so I'm gonna turn my camera on to front facing mode mm -hmm. so I can ask myself how how does your brain work? So, and I can answer, not at all, thank you. Mm. Yeah, my brain works, but, it has, but all my thoughts have to go around my uh, JoJo and One Piece synaptics. <laughs> it's a scenic route through the synaptic drive. <laughs> you want to call it? I think we should. Thank you for tuning in for another lovely episode of Gaming with Shala. I, I've been not Shala. And I've been not Pixel. I'm Pixel Cheesecake. I'm Pixel Cheesecake. No, I'm Pixel Cheesecake. Let's not go full shallakiss with this, please. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and check the links in the descriptions for his personal videos and any other websites we find to be cool. He's been handling that social media front a, a lot more than I have because I've been dealing with adulting. 10 out of 10 would only recommend if you have the mental capacity for it. We will see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now.